everybody, Tom Joya at the Visionary Music Group here with another mixed tip today. We are working on a song called Long Gone by Moguls of Mayhem, which is being released on all streaming platforms in August sometime coming up. We hope you enjoy this tune. We covered a bunch of things in the last few videos. We talked about phase alignment, subtracting the EQ, using an SSL channel for our EQ. So now another big question I've gotten from a lot of folks that have seen the videos is how do you handle a song with a lot of vocals how do you not run out of processing? What do you normally do? So let's dig in and take a look at that. Once again, if you dig the videos, please subscribe, like, and ring the notification button so we can let you know when we have more content. We really appreciate your support. So here we go. Okay, so if you see right here, I created a mono bus for the lead vocal. So what's gonna go on this bus is any of the lead vocals and any of the lead vocal doubles that I want in mono. Then I created a triple and quad aux, and then a background vocal one and a background vocal two. So that's a good, a good start. So what happened here on this tune, I separated the verse, the pre-chorus, and the lead vocal mains from each other on separate tracks. So I could level them out and probably use less automation. But same singer, same mic. So. I wanna make sure I process them the same way. So something that I would do that's fairly important on all of these is create a bus like this and send them there. Now normally I'd have this already in my template but I wanted to show you how I do it as we go. So let's solo the vocal and I solo save this bus and let's loop the verse section, no effects. Hey, we're swinging, we're sway. Just to go along, go along and get along. So one of the things I want to talk about today for vocals is one of my favorite plugins for vocals and for acoustic guitar is this plugin Soothe. So what I usually do with this is I put it on ultra because it sounds a little better. And this is a multiband compressor that finds harshness in the vocals and takes care of it for you. And this knob <clears throat> can be adjusted to how much or how little you want. Here for today. We swing and we sway Just to go along Go along and get along So that pretty much takes care of a lot of things I was hearing. So let's go to our other favorite Pro-Q2. Here for today So if you saw the other video, you'll know what I'm doing there. I'm filtering out anything that is not sonic. So let's say thump on the mic, low breath, digital craziness up high. Now I'll sweep. Today, we're swinging, we sway. Just to go along, go along and get along, assimilate. So that's one, one band I'm gonna sweep out. Uh, another thing I really like on vocals, 1176 Blue Stripe. For today, we swing and we sway just to go along, go along and get along. Probably the next thing that would happen would be if for today, we swing and we sway just to go along, go along and get along, assimilate. Not to my taste. Who's original? Who is original? I would put a fab filter de esser. If for today we swing and we sway. So the fab filter has this solo function where you can hear what you're de essing. Who is original? Okay, great. So I always like to add a little high end afterwards. So one of my favorite things to add high end from an unexpected source is this Sound Toys S I E Q, and this is great. If for today we swing and we sway, just to go along, go along and get along. So that may sound like a lot, but in the track. For today, we swing and we sway just to go along, go along and get along. So now 
if we move on from there, all I have to do is put up my balances of these other tracks underneath. And if they need something additional, I'll do it on the individual track, but probably not. Like they were before, I close my eyes and see the coming star. The life you say we lead has... Cool. So I didn't have to deal with any of those other ones just yet. All I had to do was assign them to their appropriate bus, get the first one. Maybe you make some adjustments on the compression along the way, but you pretty much have it. So we did the lead vocal and the lead vocal doubles going to a mono aux end and processed them with Soothe, with FabFilter Pro-Q2, with the UAD Blue Stripe 1176, our favorite SSL channel, FabFilter Deesser, and the Seaman EQ from Sound Toys. So since it's the same singer on the next bunch, they're triples and quads, we just drag these down, we have a stereo aux. And now we're going to check how that works out with those assignments. So in the chorus, there, there's some answers and there's a bunch of things going on. Try to find them, make sure they're assigned to the right places. Here's our triples. And there's our double assigned to the mono. And here's our answers, mono, double, triple, and quad. The life you say we lead has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. Has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. The dream's not ours to keep. Awake and disbelief. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. So we got this guy right here. Let's figure out what he is. He is a track that I printed, I had a TC-1210, and it was just used in the verses, and it's a nice analog chorus unit. Let's hear it. If for today we swear and sway, just to go along, go along and get along, assimilate, not to my day. Okay, so here's another one. This is an effecty thing I did in the pre-chorus. Let's hear that. So that sounds weird because it's a reversed reverb. And what you really have to hear is the, the main vocal and the bridge. So You're right with me. Or against me, you're right with me, or against me. You'll see down here, these guys, the telephone echo, they say. What we're going to do with those is we're going to send those to this other spot, and they'll be panned left and right, and you'll understand what they're for as soon as I get the blessing. So you can see why I'm not a fan of doing this now while I'm mixing. This drives me crazy. I will do everything in my template and then import. This is more of a lesson than a mix, so it'll be a lesson that becomes a mix. Are you in? Are you out? So what that is, is I just took the word out and I decided I wanted to make my own telephone echo. So I just copied the, the track three times, put a telephone echo and EQ on it, then just moved it around where I wanted to hear the three discrete repeats. So let's hear all of that in context in the bridge. Will you be there in it house? Are you in? Are you So now we have this breakdown lead vocal. So let's just take that to the monitor output so we can hear what it's doing. So that one's cool. We'll just we'll just put those in the main bus. And there's one that looks like 
I had an effect idea that I liked that I printed. So let's bring these in. The life you say we need has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. So the stereo one is that TC chorus, which kind of really makes this thing happen. The life you say we need has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. So then you'll see I got another track here. These were kind of scatty. Gone, gone. The life you say we need has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. All right, so now there's a lot of background vocals helping this thing out. So we're going to go to background vocal one just to get us going. We got some yells too. Long gone, long gone, long gone, long gone. The life you say we lead has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. The dreams not us to keep. Awake in disbelief. Madness is now complete. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm messing with balances and pans a little bit. And that's no, no processing at all on that chorus. So, so let's put some processing on. Let's see what happens. So let's go to Soothe, even though I don't know if they're going to need it because they sound really good. So let's grab that. Cool. Okay, so now there's one other kind of little secret weapon for the vocals. I'm going to make room for it. I almost forgot about it. The Crane Song Phoenix sounds really great on lead vocals, and it does a really nice smoothing thing on vocals, on guitars too. So sometimes I put it first, sometimes I put it after smooth. So let's grab that. It's, a, it's great. And most of the time for vocals, I'll go to... So let's see what these do. Here's a perfect example of how this is, is going to start to work out nicely. The long gons are, are a little more aggressive, so I might want to put them on a different bus. So I'm like this. Cool, so what we did was, is we took like background vocals and put them on a bus and processed them in a way that it would work. Secondary bus for background vocals that weren't like it, that were a little more aggressive. So I didn't use Soothe to clean it up. I didn't use this SIEQ to make it pretty. I used the 1176 to hit it harder. These I used the LA3 because it's a little smoother. So what another thing I might do on this is I might just use something else for like a little distortion. Long gone, long gone. We're so to sum up, we had a lot of lead vocals with doubles, quadruples, and triples, and we made a mono bus 
and a stereo bus. We sent the lead vocals and the doubles we wanted in mono to that, put our processing on there. We utilize Soothe, we utilize FabFilter Pro Q2, we used UA1176 Blue Stripe, our favorite SSL channel by Brainworks, and the SIEQ, our favorite high end booster from Sound Toys. We also used a de from FabFilter. Then we use the same exact stuff on the lead vocal double triple stereo ones. Then as we got to background vocals, we created one bus to send everybody to. And then another background vocal set had more of an aggressive quality. So we used a second bus for them and separated them. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your support. Please subscribe. Please hit the like button if you like the video and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more content coming like this. Happy mixing. Thanks. And that I'll feed. Madness is now complete. <laughs>